All right, we're going to check out Douche and Turd. This is from 2004. Uh, I believe this is from season eight. Season eight is, I think, the greatest South Park season. We watch like half the episodes from that season. Um, I just think that what they did that year was just brilliant. I mean, just, just, and there was no arc. There's no arc like some of the, like the, 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 the newer seasons with like PC and gentrification or the 2016 elections or anything like that. There was no arc. It was just really, really good satires, like really good uh, poignant stuff. And this is part of that, that season. So it's good shit. If, uh, if you're like bored in quarantine, you know, distancing yourself, you got the Hulu joint, just watch season eight. There's some, there's some turds in there, some throwaways, but it's good, okay? But let, let's just watch this. This is a parody on the 2004 election. Yo, 2004 election was George Bush going for his second term in office against a complete giant douche, John Kerry. A really shitty, um, a really, <laughs> really horrible candidate. The Democratic uh, party has been putting up some real douches and um, you know everybody who was not Republican wanted George Bush out of office felt like he pushed the Iraq invasion and lied and you know didn't handle 9-11 too well and all these sorts of things and 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 also thought like man he maybe shouldn't have been in office maybe Al Gore should have but another fucking giant douche Really tough. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, but the bigger douche was John Kerry. So let's try to get George Bush out of, out of office. We'll, we'll put John Kerry forward. Maybe he can appeal to the veterans, you know, um, and, 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 you know, people who are very patriotic because of, he was a veteran. And, and, you know, George Bush was just some rich Yale douchebag um, or turd sandwich. Um, but anyways... The, the satire here is brilliant. It's on the, it's on the two-party system, which we're going to go into detail on throughout today. Um, but it's a really amazing satire on, like, the value of a vote. What does it mean to vote with an electoral college? What does it, what does it mean to vote when you literally have a false choice between a douche and a turd sandwich? That's hard. That's a very great disincentive to vote. And it may be how you're feeling right now, but don't let it get to you. You need to vote or die, motherfucker. Okay. Um, I think what you'll see here too, is that this will definitely come across as like a libertarian, um, view on voting. And we'll, we'll kind of get more into that with a little bit more in depth libertarian views on, and philosophies on, on voting it, itself. But like that you should, basically the concept is you should have the freedom to choose. And your freedom of choice, right, is between a douche and a turd or not to vote. And that you should be able to make that choice not to vote. You shouldn't be um, sent off to a PETA camp where you have to make love to llamas. <laughs> okay. Um, just think about when we watch this as Stan as the representation of voting apathy. Um, you know, just being the apathetic voter who doesn't care. Like, yeah, fucking, I live in Oregon. I know, you know, that... Uh, by and large, it's a blue state, and if I don't vote in 2020, it's still going to be a blue state. The vote's still going to go to fucking Biden, and that is what it is, you know? And he's feeling that, that sort of apathy, you know, like that his vote doesn't really matter, and it brings up the discussion is in an electoral college system in a democratic republic, does your vote matter, okay? Because here's the deal. When you're voting be between a douche and a turd, you know, where does the authority rest? Where does the authority of those public figures rest? You know, and it's in you. Like, you're the one who instills, you're giving them that authority by voting for them. So if you don't vote, do you take that authority away? I doubt it. <laughs> but at least personally, that's maybe, maybe how, you, how you feel. So... Let's do this. Let's press play. Let's watch Douche versus Turd. We'll come back. We'll talk about it and get a little bit more into political philosophy. <laughs> 